What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. So, looks like Adrian Broner, he sent this out in the social media network arena, and this is what he put. This is the face of a three-time world champion in three different weight divisions. I am a man, and first of all, I want to say I'm sorry for running out on all the fans after my fight. That was wrong of me as a fighter. I want to crack congratulate Team Chino, and I want to thank everyone that supported the fight. But I am not done. This is a minor setback for a major comeback. Hashtag rematch time. Hashtag true fighter. Oh, it is amazing what an ass whooping will do. So, just judging by the picture, Adrian Broner, he doesn't look like he has the same confidence. I mean, obviously, it's a picture. But they say a picture says a thousand words. And just from looking at this picture that he posted... He doesn't look like, he looks more like he's humbled or embarrassed or it doesn't look like the fly for A.B. Always balling. Like, it doesn't look like he's has the same mindset. And it could be temporary. It could be long-lasting. We'll only, time will tell. Um, my thoughts on this, I figure that apology was definitely coming forward. Um, just because when, when you're a celebrity... You have PR people and you have people who like um, help to shift and manage your career handlers and, and whatnot. And when celebrities have, have come, like when there's been leaked tapes of them or audio of them, like Alec Baldwin cussing his little daughter out or whatever the case is, um, that could be damaging to your career. Chris Brown punching Rihanna, whatever the situation is. Um, so they have damage control people that advise you and advisors and stuff like that. So I'm pretty sure he's heard the flack and the feedback probably from his handlers, maybe from reading it himself about running out and not conducting a official post fight interview in his first loss, stay in the ring, take your lumps like a man and, um, live to fight another day. Um, as far as his picture, it looks like his face is still swollen. He has kind of the chipmunk cheeks, um, it looks like he has the mumps or some shit. But as far as Broner, I think this this loss is going to hurt him tremendously. Not that just because it was a sheer beating, it was. But based on who he was as a fighter prior. Now, I'm not saying that he can't bounce back because this is the fight game. I've seen many fighters um, bounce back. I've seen miraculous things happen. Um, Bernard Hopkins lost his professional debut um, he lost to Roy Jones Jr. So if you were to look at Roy, or excuse me, Bernard Hopkins' early career, one might um, foreshadow that Bernard Hopkins would not be a factor at the age he is now. But that's not the case. And whereas Roy Jones seems to be declining over the years, Bernard Hopkins seems like fine wine where he's getting better. So I never put it past a fighter to make that comeback. George Foreman made a comeback. Michael Moore. Um, there's been significant comebacks in the sport. So it's not impossible. The reason I think it's going to be difficult is based on who Adrian Broner believed he was going into the fight and prior to the fight. Like he said, he's a three-time world champion, three different weight divisions. Um, he had a pretty decent amateur career. And when you're not used to losing and you actually take a loss in the fashion that he takes a loss, it's something you have to overcome. It could become a personal demon of yours. And that's because you did all that talking. You were trash talking. He's going to speak Spanish or English. You didn't let off the gas until Maidana physically made you let off the gas. So I just think it's going to be a tough pill to swallow, and he's going to have to really come back and get his shit together. Plus, in a lot of people's eyes, including Pauli Malinaji, they feel Broner in his last two fights at welterweight was exposed. Paulie had been saying this and singing this tune for a while. He says he hasn't fought nobody. Who has he beat? He hasn't fought no elite fighters. Paulie Malinaji kind of foreshadowed this. And myself, as long, along with other people, foreshadowed um, Broner's demise if he didn't stay on the right track. Now, a lot of people hoped, including me, that he got his shit together, and it looks like he didn't take it serious, so this is what happens, this is the, um, 
the aftermath, if you will. So I think it's going to be a hard road back for Adrian Broner just because nothing, his whole stick doesn't make sense anymore after that beating. Like if he's rapping on the way out in his next fight, if he's um, dancing in the ring, it just doesn't make sense. Like this, these flamboyant over the top, Hey pops, brush my hair. Anybody can get it. Like all that, that whole gimmick, that whole spiel doesn't make sense anymore. If you follow me, it just doesn't like if they put him in there with, um, a lesser talent, a non elite fighter, um, or someone who's washed up like a Zab Judah or a Berto, maybe, um, and he beats them, he can't be dancing and, and shit and, and brag, like braggadocious about that. Zab Judah didn't look good in his last performance. Neither did Berto. Now, I'm not saying these dudes are like pure bums. They're still, um, fighters that will beat the average journeyman or something like that. But in this point in their career, they've tasted defeat and they might have become complacent with tasting defeat. So I'm anxious to see how Broner looks in his next fight. I just think he has to get his act in gear. He's going to have to really humble himself internally and realize this is a grown man's game. This is a fight business. There's no play. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's not Lego blocks and um, shoots and ladders at this bitch. This is really people trying to take your head off. And you can't um, go in with this attitude like you're like above it, like you're beyond it all, like you're just God's gift to boxing. There's been boxers before you, and there will be boxers after you. Another thing with Broner, um, personally, I think he did the worst out of like a lot of Maidana's signature fights. Amir Khan did better than him. Granted, this was Maidana pre Robert Garcia and at a lower weight division, but I'm just talking about actual performance. Um, Amir Khan had spots where he was definitely doing good, controlling the pace, dictating the pace. Josito Lopez did better prior to him getting stopped. Um, Eric Morales did better. And there's a bunch of people, Jesus Soto Caras did better against Maidana. All these people, to me, did better. Devin Alexander. They all did better against Maidana, Victor Ortiz, than Adrian Broner did. Now, part of it might have been because Maidana is an improving fighter. He's with Robert Garcia now. Part of it might have been because you stirred the pot and you pissed Maidana off. So he gave you no respect and bull rushed you at the beginning. But either way, that comes full circle to Adrian Broner. You're the one that, like before the, before the rodeo and bullfights, they aggravate the bull. So they get the best performance out of the bull. They get the, the bull pissed wild and like really bucking. Um, in the day, back in the day, I think they used to stab him. Um, sometimes they used to shoot him with like tranquilizers and like do shit to their nuts, all kinds of stuff. So the bull, when they open that gate, the bull is ready. The bull is trying to get that fucking person off of his back. And that's pretty much the best analogy I could think of on the spot. For what the fuck Adrian Broner did to Maidana. He kicked the bull. He stabbed the bull. He shot the bull with the with the little dart gun or whatever the fuck. And the bull came out. And the bull came out in, in full force. So either way, it, it goes back on Broner. Maybe he would have had a better performance. Let's say he didn't talk half the shit. Like he gave Maidana more respect. Maidana might have fought a more composed fight and like respected his power or not just try to put it all on him in the first round who knows he might not have thrown close to a thousand fucking punches but sometimes when you aggravate a person when you push them to that outer limit who knows what their their mind is capable of that adrenaline that that mean streak all of that it all plays a factor so the fact that you you talked all that shit. It just makes it look bad. Now, I do give props to Broner for, again, I've said, I said this the day after the fight, after the fight immediately. I give Broner props for taking that beating and going the distance because a lot of people would have wanted to quit. And I said this before 
As far as him not having a chin, I don't really see how he doesn't have a chin at all because he's hurt by a power puncher. If he didn't have a chin, he would have been stretched like early on in the first or second round. He probably would have been stretched, but he obviously took the punishment. He took some massive shots and kept back getting back up and fighting. So props to Broner for that. Hopefully he really just goes back to the basics um, before the limelight, before the world star, before your TV show, um, YouTube webisodes about billions, before all that strip clubs, before all this, take it back to the basics. Do good, brother. Come back. Um, the world's waiting to see what you bring. So hopefully he doesn't disappoint and hopefully he comes back with a more mature outlook towards boxing and um, does some good stuff in the sport. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off. Mm -hmm.